We are back with a tech, oh, sorry. We are back with a tech review, and it's been a while since we dived into the world of running tech. Uh, we are talking all about headphones today, and recently I've got into listening to podcasts while I'm running. So when we were contacted by this brand and asked if we wanted to test out a brand new pair of their headphones to market, it was perfect timing. Now, I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of the brand before, but maybe not by their new name. So it is Shox, formerly known as Aftershocks, and it is a pair of their brand new Open Run Pro sports headphones. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Really glad you can all join us again here at the channel. Uh, just before we start, I want to say a massive shout out to Shox, formerly known as Aftershocks, for sending us down a pair of their new Open Run Pro headphones before they launched. Uh, they actually just became available yesterday on the Shox website. So we've had them for just over a month now, we've given them a thorough test in. But if I'm honest, uh, running headphones have never been something that I've used a lot of over the years, especially when you know I'm getting out running on the trails. I like to be at one with nature. Okay, maybe that is just a little bit full on, but when I am out running on the trails, I really do like to listen and take in my surroundings. So when it comes to the Shox headphones, they have some great features for when you're getting out there running or cycling, whether it be on the roads or on the trails. So let's go into a little bit more detail about the all new Open Run Pro Shox Sports headphones. The Open Run Pro headphones do sit quite high up the product range when it comes to the brand. So they do retail for a quite expensive £160. However, they do offer more affordable options. So you have the Open Runs at £129.95 and you have the Open Moves at a quite affordable £79.95. They come in this nice hard protective case so you can keep your headphones nice and safe. And if we just pop them out of that case, pop that down, you can see that the design of their headphones is quite different from your standard sort of inner ear headphones. The reason for that is because they are bone conductivity headphones. So they actually hook over the top of your ears and then you're left with an open ear listening experience. So what this basically means is you can listen to your music, your podcasts, your audio books, but you can still hear ambient sound. So if you're out there running on the road, you can still hear the traffic. If you're out there on the trails, you can still hear a passing trail runner. So it gives you a much safer listening and experience. And if I'm honest, in the past, this is one of the things that's put me off running with the sort of standard inner ear headphones is that I can never hear anything that's going on around me. They are fully Bluetooth compatible, so we've got no annoying leads or cables to deal with. And even though they are very sleek, very compact in design and only weigh in at 27 grams, they have a pretty incredible 10 hours of battery life. Uh, long gone are the days where we had to stick our Bluetooth devices on charge for hours and hours and hours before we went out for a run. These will go from zero to fully charged in an hour. They also come with a really handy quick charge feature so if you've forgotten to charge them up for a run quickly whack them on charge for five minutes and that will give you an hour and a half's worth of use while we're speaking about charging I have to show you this because I really like this feature so that is the headphone this is the charging cable so if I drop that there you can see pretty cool eh? so a magnetic connector and it's very uh, very very satisfying I could literally do that all day um, anyway yeah so a great quick charge feature and really simple to connect the charging lead. The Open Run Pro headphones have a wraparound titanium construction. So like I mentioned before, making them incredibly lightweight, but also super durable. They give you a nice secure fit no matter 
what exercise or workout you're choosing to do, so no more need to worry about your headphones falling off. There has also been some big updates when it comes to the sound quality. So in the latest version of the headphones, Shox have used their ninth generation turbo pitch bone conductivity technology, providing you with a nice clear and crisp mid-range to high frequency sound. You've also got two added bass enhancers just ensuring that you hear every note and resulting in a premium sound quality. Not only can you listen to the thumping beats of your favorite workout track, but you can also take a call from your mobile phone on the headphones by simply pressing that side button there. If you do take a call, you've now got a dual noise cancelling microphone on the headphones. So no matter where you're working out, whether it's noisy or quiet, that call should be crystal clear at both ends. They also come with an IP55 sweat proof rating. So perfect for those rainy runs or the sweatiest workouts. Now I was going to pop them on and give you a quick demonstration here in the studio, but one, I thought I'd look pretty ridiculous doing that. And two, the sun is shining through that window and I need to get a training run in today. So I'm going to get my latest podcast all lined up on my phone and we'll see you guys out on the trails. We made it out onto the trails and I'm currently listening to the ultra running podcast by James Ellison from Centurion Running, just trying to catch up on a few things. We're going to be running about six or seven miles today on the beautiful towns in this beautiful blue sky sunshine. Uh, we're going to show you some of the sites, but we're also going to go into a bit more detail on how he's been using the new Open Run Pro headphones over the last month. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 Stone Cold Stunner. It is definitely pretty windy out here today. We've got beautiful blue skies, but it is blowing a hoolie, hiding behind the wall. It's great to be listening to the ultra running podcast again. Dan Lawson is so funny. If you hadn't listened to it before, it's definitely worth a listen. The first thing I want to talk about is the fit of the headphones, because I've got to be honest, I wasn't really that sure about wanting to hang a pair of headphones over my ears and how well they would work. Liga has raved on about them for years and years, but I just wasn't sure. I don't know what I was worried about. They fit super secure. They work well with a hat, which is good for me because I tend to run with a hat on. But yeah, really, really secure, really comfortable over the year. And again, they don't bounce around, they don't move. And I'm, I'm really surprised at that. I thought there'd be a lot of movement from the headphones. To be honest, I run with them. I hardly notice that I've got them on. So definitely going to be spending more time listening to podcasts. And I think they would really work well at, say, a, a looped race or a track event, something like that, where a bit of music or a podcast really comes in handy. But yeah, we're a couple of miles into the run. So let's crack on and try and keep avoiding this wind. Right, the next thing we definitely need to speak about is the sound quality, because again, with the new version, that has been improved. It was another element of this system that I wasn't sure about, because obviously they sit outside the ear and not in the ear. But I've actually been really impressed with the quality of the sound. Listen to some music, obviously listening to the podcast, really crisp, really clear. The bass on the music is really nice as well. Um, the whole concept of them being outside the ears, obviously for safety. So I've done some running on the road. I could still hear the traffic. I felt a lot safer. The other day I was out on the trails and a mountain bike rider was coming up behind me. I could hear him coming, I could get out of the way. So that outer ear system has actually really surprised me and it works really well. When it comes to using the headphones, it has been so straightforward and I haven't always had that with Bluetooth devices in the past. So they sync straight away with my phone, no problems at all. And again, really easy to function the headphones when you're out running. We just got three simple buttons to power the headphones on and they talk to you when they come to life and let you know how much battery life you've got left in them. And then obviously you've got a plus and a minus for volume. Even easy to use with gloves on, no problem. So yeah, straightforward to set up and really functional when you're out running. We announced some pretty big news on the channel the other day. I don't know whether you guys have seen the video, but 
we are going full time with the channel. Now, I know it's a pretty bold move. You know, giving up a full time salary is a big commitment, but we definitely had to make that decision. We're getting so busy at the channel and there's so much more we want to bring you guys with live streams, podcasts, more weekly content, more trips away traveling. So we definitely had to make that decision. Super excited going forward into 2022. It really is going to be an exciting year for the channel. the wind is picking up even more so again seeking shelter but we got a mile to go on the run so uh, thought I would just wrap this up with a quick conclusion great to be out today legs are definitely feeling strong I definitely feel like I'm getting my fitness back so fingers crossed no more niggles I really think the mountain bike sessions are helping leg strength definitely notice the difference and there's going to be more coming with that on the channel soon but yeah quick conclusion like Liga said um, that I would be impressed with the headphones and I have been. I can't really fault them on anything. Super comfy to where I could definitely see myself wearing these in long races for long periods of time, having no issues at all. No bounce, no movement. Like I said, can't fault the fit. And the sound quality has been brilliant, even though they're outside the ear. But for me, the biggest thing that I like is that safety aspect. Being out the ear, hearing all that surrounding noise, I just feel a lot safer in these headphones, running, listening to music or podcasts. So yeah, thumbs up for me. The only thing, obviously a slight negative, they are 160 pounds and that is quite a lot of money. I personally think if you're well into your music or podcasts or listening to audio when you're running, then the quality of the sound, they're probably worth the investment. Obviously, if you're not that into it and you don't want to spend that kind of money, there is cheaper options available within this shocks range. Uh, like I said, they went live on their website yesterday, so I've left a link in the description below if you want to go and check them out in a bit more detail. This video should be going live on Wednesday. We should be traveling up to Lee Valley Athletics track as this video drops. We're going up there to film the Salomon boys and girls try and break the mixed relay 24 hour track record. Super excited to go up there and film them to get involved in that. It's a, again, another opportunity that's come to the channel since we've been full time. So yeah, really excited to go up and film them guys. But as for today's video, that is a wrap on another running tech review at the channel. Really hope you enjoyed it guys. Really hope you enjoy the video and seeing the beautiful sights of the Hail Towers. We will be back at the channel very soon. Thanks for watching. It's always appreciated. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.